Hi guys, welcome to the lecture of CWA part B, book of specification. Last time we went through chapter 2, workmanship requirements and visual acceptance criteria structure still. And here specifically we went over 2.2.2, roughness requirements. And today I'm going to give you the lecture of 2.2.1.3, STEER Roughness Requirements. I'm going to read the specification and give you the interpretation of the 2.2.1.3. Word edge preparation surfaces for SAW should not be rougher than sample 3 and should have no gouges. So word edge preparation surfaces means something like this. Here you can see the cut surface. So this is not the bevel angle uh, preparation or bevel bevel uh, roughness surface surface roughness preparation, but actual CWA Part B questions you can uh, the you can see this kind of cut surface something a little bit different than word edge preparation surfaces but the only word edge preparation surface you can see in the CW part b questions is this kind of cut surface so this word edge preparation surfaces for saw Specifically, SAW in 2.2.1.2 here, except SAW, mechanized or automatic. So, SAW means mechanized or automatic welding processes, but here, except SAW, but 2.2.1.3, specifically, it says SAW, submerged arc welding, shall not be rougher than sample 3, and shall have no gouges. So, this word edge preparation surface for SAW submerged arc welding, this surface should not be rougher than sample 3. But this actual cut surface is apparently rougher than this sample 3. How you figure out? Just look at it. This is rougher this is finer so you solve the problem the sample number three is finer than actual cut surface this kind of question very simple so this was 2.2.1.3 and let's go to 2.2.1.4 Edges of members not subject to calculated stresses shall not be rougher than sample 2 and shall have no gouges deeper than 3 mm. So, this edge of members not subject to calculated stress. As I said, this is the only cut surface you can see in CW Part B questions this condition edges of members not subject to calculated stresses this you are not able to figure out this calculated stress with this specimen but the question says here question says this member is subjected to calculated stresses or not this is given this is this is the given condition from the uh, question so you don't have to worry about this when you see this should not be rougher than sample 2 so this surface should not be rougher than this sample 2 uh, this is kind of hard to compare this surface and this surface but in my thinking, this, this sample number 2 is slightly finer than this cut surface. 
but uh, I don't see this kind of question uh, from since like 2018 the questions are very obvious comparing this sample 3 to this cut surface very simple this is a rough for dentist sample 3 but this cut surface is kind of rougher than this sample number two this kind of question you're not going to see in the actual problem actual CW part B questions so you don't have to worry about this thing but for example this cut surfaces cut surface is kind of finer than this sample number one this is ambiguous I'm not sure I can't tell exactly but this as I said this kind of question comparing this like roughness is very clear in CW part B questions comparing this cut surface to simple 3 or simple 4 very simple questions so this was 2.2.1.4 Let's go to 2.2.1.5. All other edges shall not be rougher than sample 3 and shall have no gouges deeper than 1.5 millimeter. So other than 2.2.1.1234, which is mechanized and automatic welding processes and SAW and calculate the stress member and manual and semi-automatic welding processes other than these all other edges shall not be rougher than sample 3 so sample 3 so I'm not gonna uh, give you the explanation again this was 2.2.1.5 I'm going to show you the brief idea of the actual question, something like this. Examine F8, F8, T-joint, T-joint, this is T-joint. The surface is mechanized word by F shape W. So surface, this surface is it's going to be worded by mechanized wording. F C W flux cord arc welding. That's the surface preparation with the workmanship requirement for structural steel application. So this surface compared to compared to AWS C 1.4.1-77, which is here, here, this one and this this one are the same cut surface. So compare this one to mechanized mechanized FCAW. So you go to 2.2.1.2 mechanized and automatic welding process is this one. You find this mechanized welding and apply this sample number 4. Shall not be rougher than sample number 4 and shall have no gouges. So the actual specimen doesn't have the gouge and specimen compared this one this one to sample number I uh, forgot sample number four so sample number four is sample number four is here and actual cut surface is obviously apparently rougher than sample number four so that answer is acceptable this is the actual question I uh, gave you the idea of the actual question and let's go to arc strike 2.2.3 no, I'm sorry 2.2.2 arc strike base matter shall be free of arc strike arc strike means I'm gonna give you the picture I'm going to show you the picture of the arc strike and this is SMAW shaded matter arc welding electrode 
Uh, so the T joint is here. So actual welding part is this through entire fillet weld. But after fillet weld, sometimes this electrode is stick to the weldment. Then you force it back and forth to uh, detach this electrode. Then accidentally you just drag other base matter something like here and here so you can see burning marks of the SMEW electrode this kind of thing this this are the arc strike so after welding the arcs are gone the burning mark is like this, actual pictures of arc strike, very poor arc strike. And in the CWI part B questions and CWI part B, the actual specimen, piping specimen, this is the arc strike mark. Uh, slightly different, but this is the arc strike. So base matter should be free of arc strike. So when you see the question, something like this arc strike, uh, and you see the pipe specimen has the uh, arc strike, that's rejectable. 2.2.3, cleaning of completed words. Uh, why don't I stop here? And next time, lecture number four, I'm going to give you the lecture of cleaning of completed words uh, today. Uh, thank you for listening my lecture and see you next time.